Hi guys, so today we are cooking um, It's called rainbow cookies. It was a gift for my husband from church uh, Yeah, as you can see very nice Sunday school. It's yeah, basically it's this gift from the Sunday school team So basically they bought it from a company in KwaZulu Natal It's called what now? Mm -hmm. the, the, the Jabi Jar The Jabi Jar. Yeah, so you can yeah, we'll actually link the, the address of the company below. So all we have to do is to just... Um, sorry guys, I just need to remove... One thing you forgot to mention is there's a uh, cookie shape, a sh a shape, a shape. Oh yes, I was gonna mention, it's just that it's not in that order. So there's also a cooking, sh cook cooker shape thingy. And then it's wrapped so nicely, guys. You can see just that my husband doesn't have anything pink, but you can see it's all pinky and okay. It's like a ribbon. Okay, it's not a ribbon. So basically, yeah, this is gonna be the top. This what is the sprinkle thing on top? Yes, yeah, multicolored sprinkles. Yeah. So basically, all we need here yeah, is. 150 gram melted butter and one egg which we have here. We don't have vanilla essence guys, but we <laughs> we thought we just we're just gonna do it and then inside the the jar there's flour Baking powder salt brown sugar white sugar oats Rainbow sprinklers white chocolate chip, which is that that's the oats on top and that's the white sugar brown sugar and that's the Get some chocolate something oh they call it big cup i don't know so we're just gonna throw everything in here mm. come here throw everything in come on don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy Smells so nice, guys. Okay, this was a gift from our friend. <laughs> we baked, but we never like, used it before. You can see it's still wrapped and brand new. <laughs> still has like a receipt because a friend of ours bought bought for us for our uh, like a, as a wedding gift. Though it came afterwards, I think yeah. So it's still new, brand new. So. We hope it's working, but it's a good brand. Russell hopes so. I believe we're not gonna have any issues. Which one is for the egg? This one? Yeah. Okay, I need to rinse it. You need to use two of them. Oh, I forgot. You see, guys. I mean, I also have the same one for my mom, but now it looks like I forgot. Where is this? Oh. Guys, I tell you, the round one. So which one is this one? Yes, this one. Okay. And obviously, we are chasing load shading. We're gonna have load shading in. Is it, is it one hour? No, it's not one. A little hour. over an hour. Yeah, let's say one hour thirty minutes. Guys, don't judge us if you love vanilla Plug essence. Plug it onto the wall, just oh, to make yeah. it better. Don't judge us if you like vanilla essence. We also love it, but we are happy to to not use it today for the sake of time. Because we, how do I even use it? I forgot. So press here. Pre this, check the switch on the wall. Oh. Slowly. It's already mixed, love. It doesn't need to be mixed. You're just I'm making just, a mess. 
Yeah, I'm just a bit scared guys to mix. The, the butter is still warm. I don't want to mix it with the egg, so I'll just put it here. Let me, let me take, let me take I'll, over. I'll, I'll, I'll mix with the spoon first. I can, I can take over. Okay, I'll give you now. I feel like our bowl is also so small. No, it's not small, it's fine. But I mean, I'm on the, like, the, the speed is like the slowest. All right, yeah, I can drop everything there. The main person wants to take over. What you doing? No, what you doing? Don't you use the table. Huh? You press here. Yeah. No. You want to remove them? Yeah. Oh, you must communicate, man. That's what I'm trying to do. No, tell me. I'm like, what you doing? You don't say anything. Please rinse them. Communication, man. Communication. You want me to speak like British? Oh, you know this thing better than me. I used the wrong thing. Now I caused the mess. Guys, you see why team teamwork is important. Hmm? What what does they just say? We we don't need any any milk. No milk. There's a jar there. We heat the oven to 180 degrees. That's we are behind door. We're not that behind. You haven't done anything with your mixing. What? If we heat the oven, melt the butter, empty contents of jar into a bowl, mix until combined. So that's everything there in the description. Pour descriptions. the cooled, um, cooled melted butter and egg. And, uh, and and add egg mix mix well uh, allow the children to squash into uh, balls we and do place, not have children uh, and, pl and place into a, a greased uh, baking sheet okay now press please gently mix. with a fork yes please mix we are running out of time we are chasing load shedding so the poppers are dance <laughs> I was using the wrong attachment and my husband says nothing. He's like, no woman, I need to do it. I just want to steal the show. Oh, he wants me to fail. But I'm the one who puts the time this house. It's fine. Ooh, my hair is bad. I think love, this thing is so big. I'm ready to take an oven. Okay guys, um, now we have to preheat the ring uh, to grease the pan. Guys, we've moved to this bigger, bigger area. area. Because we need to Start squashing and apparently my husband wants us to use the shape Make it look nice. But it takes time. Okay. No, edit you on the side, yes. But I'm glad my husband is just more in the kitchen ever since Christmas. So I'll just flatten like that. Now put more here. Yeah. Just make it a bit uniform, love. 
for me with biscuits i don't have time to use the rolling pin no not the rolling pin this one won't wait well because we have a lot of oats and whatnot correct i mean the cookie shaper because it's all about the taste for me okay the looks also counts but i'm just saying that sure guys you need to have time <laughs> Some of us don't have time. Okay, love, start cutting. Is this clean? I don't know. Yeah, this is the sharp side. Do, 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 do. Hope it's not breaking because this. Like that? Yeah, it looks like it breaks though. Because there's a lot of oats and other things. It's not like your soft flour. See. I'm sorry guys, now I'm blocking the camera. I'm gonna use that hand. Uh, I got a, yeah, a spoon would help. They're a bit delicate. Mm. That went well. Okay, so guys, we're gonna do just the same process. We're not gonna take the whole video doing one and the same thing because then it's gonna be longer and we're trying to keep our videos shorter. There's another one, love. There's another one for you. There's another one for you. I'm multitasking. I'm a camera lady and helping. Camera lady and a helper. <laughs> and I'm doing an outstanding job. <sighs> oh, it broke. Try to mend it. The mending wall. So yeah, we're going to do one and the same thing and we'll show you when we are done. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are just rotating. I told him that I did this too and I thought I'm the best. So let's see how mine are going to come out. Because I'm not shy. See, I even if do a bit of that. I like when this happens, guys. Look, I just do that. Look. And I'm gentle with my baby. Because you need to cut through all the oats and the other things. So. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, the one thing that, you know, in terms of quality control, if you... If you don't want it to be too sweet and you want to dumb down the sweetness, so it's just quite sweet, guys. It is quite sweet. So all you need to do is just add a couple of handfuls of flour and then mix it well. That's what we did basically. Because me with sweet things, guys, I'm the oldie. So I put about two handfuls of flour. You can't taste the difference so far. You can't taste the difference, but the sweetness has gone down. Yeah. And if you think it's a, still a bit too sweet, add more flour. 
yeah but i'm afraid if you add too much flour then they needs to be a balance because depending on which flour are you using you know biscuits like some you sh they, they shouldn't be self-raising you know because some you don't add like a baking powder so you just need to know what kind of flour that you are using but if you are good baking biscuits then it should be fine so yeah guys we're just going to finish off the final bit and then put it in the oven and uh, we will catch you in the conclusion part of this baking video okay. see you soon guys Yo, but guys it's so easy <laughs> okay see you okay guys we are putting our sprinklers before we bake so uh, so adding the sprinklers on top of the cookies and and then just with our fingertips uh, partially bury the the sprinklers uh, because uh, it needs to stick onto the cookies and when it bakes it'll uh, properly stick into the cookies but with our fingertips oops i'm missing missing so we need to firmly firmly be, uh, stick them yeah so that's what i'm doing friends so, uh, so yeah guys we'll catch you soon after the cookies are baked guys we are done and the oven is preheated now we are taking it to the oven and then they say will you bake between 14 to 15 minutes so we'll just do it yeah we'll just do 15 timer okay it's good the timer is on okay bye see you later okay and then we'll check in 15 minutes guys That's the location, guys, in Hillcrest. Okay, tell us what you think, uh, but definitely we'll leave the details of the company where you can buy these jars. Uh, basically, you can buy them in bulk, give, yeah, use them as gifts for family or friends for Christmas or Easter's or whenever. Thanks guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share to your friends. Bye.